welcome to the first ever episode of I'm your humble host, Nick McCready's, and today we are going to be making a single perfect cupcake. This cupcake is inspired by a movie I watched over the weekend, which I've watched many times. Bridesmaids is hilarious, and there's a character in the movie called Annie. She used to have a bakery, but now she doesn't. So one evening, she decides to bake one cupcake just one and I've personally never done this before but I am going to be showing you guys how to do that today and this recipe is perfect for those of you who might be in quarantine alone if you want to double the recipe you can make two cupcakes and share it with a friend it's up to you whatever but today we're just going to be making one single cupcake perfect cupcake but let's get stuck into the recipe so let's begin with the cupcake itself. I'm going to be melting one tablespoon of unsalted butter in a small saucepan and then I want to let it cool down. Now for this recipe we're going to be using one tablespoon of egg. So I'm just whisking that egg and with the rest of mine I just made some scrambled eggs. Into a small mixing bowl we're going to add our melted butter, one tablespoon of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of that egg, a teaspoon of vanilla extract and we're going to whisk that up. Then you want to add 2 tablespoons or 20 grams of self-raising flour and I'm switching over to a spatula and I'm just mixing this in until there are no dry ingredients showing. Then we're going to add 1 tablespoon of milk, mix that in and then Annie colours her cupcakes purple so we're adding some pink and purple food gel. Once you've mixed that and everything is evenly combined, we are just making one cupcake today. So one cupcake liner in our cupcake tin. If you don't have one of these or you don't want to get your cupcake tin out, you can use a ramekin and double liner it. This is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes on 120 degrees celsius or 250 degrees fahrenheit. Once it's finished baking you're going to let it cool down completely. Today I am breaking my no fondant rule and we need fondant for the decorations and if you don't want to make these decorations you can just frost your single perfect cupcake it'll still be perfect. You will need to knead your fondant when it comes out of the packet because it's a little bit crusty. So just give it a knead until it's nice and smooth. You'll only need 40 grams of this today. It's a very small amount. We're going to split it in half. Now for this, because we're going to be coloring it, you definitely want to put gloves on. Nobody wants to see your colorful fingers. For one half, we're going to be adding some pink food gel. Liquid will not work in this case. Trust me, speaking from experience. You want to mix that until it's evenly combined and then for the other half we're going to be using some green food gel. Dust your workbench with some cornstarch and we're going to roll out some of that green fondant. Today I'm going to be using a leaf cookie cutter to cut out my leaves. We want to use something pointy to kind of add some indents like the little nerves that you see in leaves. I'm using the end of a candy thermometer but you can use a toothpick. You want to pinch the end of your leaf and let's move on to the pink fondant. So the pink fondant is going to make up the flower leaves. I have no idea what flower name it is that she uses, but it's pretty pretty. Use a knife to cut out some leaf shapes. You want to make sure that this is rolled out fairly thin as well, guys, because it is flower petals. You don't want them thick. It's just not going to look realistic. So once you have cut them out, you want to add some indents. And then I'm using some liquid food paint to paint some pink on my petals just at the bottom. We're going to pinch the end of these as well. Now for the middle she uses kind of this weird shape thing. I have no idea what it is and I just decided to make my own. But once you've made the weird let's call it bud in the center I'm just going to use some yellow food paint and we're going to paint this yellow. You want to set these aside and let them rest or set for one hour. Let's make the frosting. It's a really small batch guys. So 55 grams of unsalted butter that's been softened and 40 grams of powdered sugar or one teaspoon of vanilla extract and you're going to mix that. Now I tried doing this by hand using a spatula. I'll admit I've never done this by hand before and there's a good reason why because my arm started feeling tired after about a minute and a half. So I switched over 
to my electric hand mixer and I just used one of the attachment bits. I added one drop of green food gel in there and mixed it until it was evenly coloured and then I added that to a piping bag fitted with a 1M piping tip. Now here's a trick for filling up your piping bags hands free, just pop it in a cup. In the movie, Annie tips her cupcake tray over like this to get the cupcake out. Guys, normal people just do it like this. I have no idea what the idea here was. Our cupcake has come out beautifully flat on top. That's because of the low temperature. And if you get a nice flat top, it makes it easier to frost. Speaking of frosting, it's time to frost. So we are going to pipe a low swirl on top of our cupcake and then what it looks like Annie does is she pipes some lines from the top down to the bottom. You want to add your fondant leaves and you can see those have set really really nicely. Then your flower petals on top. I'm just adding a little bit more frosting to help them stick. And then the last thing you want to do is add the little yellow whatever it's called. Now guys again I'm not perfect at fondant so it's not going to look as pretty as hers but I think it looks pretty good. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Movie Monday. I would love to hear your suggestions on what the next episode should be. Let me know which recipe or dessert from which movie or TV show I should make in the next episode and I'll read your comments and pick it for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you want to see more delicious recipes from me, I have some over there. If you click over there, you'll see more delicious recipes and you can watch them for free. Have a lovely day and I will see you all on the next episode of the Scrambine. Bye!